Morning, what's up? Happy New Year to everyone and I hope you had a Merry Christmas. I had a, a pretty good break myself. It wasn't super Christmassy, I don't know how you guys felt. Um, just kind of weird with everything going on, but either, either way it was nice to you know, see family, eat lots of good food uh, and, and take a little bit of a break. Uh, although ultimately, I spent most of my Christmas holidays doing this. As you can see, I am filming uh, pretty much all of this, so hopefully there'll be some good videos on that one. I'm kind of excited and, and kind of just figuring out the best way uh, to film it. Today's video is about new year, new me, 2022 goals. Uh, I would encourage you all to, to set some goals for this year. It's good to have some sort of focus and, and understanding of where you want to go to. So I was just going to chat about that one. Today's coffee. Was so one uh, from Ethiopia. Molly is making all the gains. She's uh, she's actually had a four hundred percent body weight increase. I mean, on the bulk. She's small, but not quite as small as she was. Um, on to goals. First question for you. Do you have any goals for this year? I'm sure you do. Um, I'd just be interested to see kind of what people are working on this year, what your reasons for it are. Yeah, just let me know in the comment section down below. I do have a couple of comments that I want to share um, afterwards, just like in terms of setting goals and kind of how to approach things because um, oftentimes, as I'm sure all of you are well aware, when it comes to bodyweight training, some of these things, they're not going to happen in a year. They're probably not going to happen in two or three years, but um, it's important to work towards them uh, progressively. So I'm gonna keep this short and sweet because essentially I've only got two goals this year. Number one, straddle planche. We're gonna talk more about that in a second because I feel like that's been a goal for the past five years. I'll explain it. Number two um, is double body weight back squat. So 180-ish kilo back squat. That's, that's literally, that's my only two goals for 2022. That's kind of it and I apologize because this is a topic that I've talked a fair amount about and that is less goals more gains ultimately we have to think about the said principle specific adaptation to impose demand we need to be specific we need to be focused the less goals we have ultimately the better progress we're going to make in those things it doesn't mean that you can't work on the rest of it um, i would generally apply like a 70 30 sort of principle 80 20 but 70 30 you kind of need a bit of effort the other stuff 70 percent of your effort goes into the few goals that you do have really you know everything is built around that but there's still consideration for you know maintaining balance having a complete practice working on the other aspects but yeah um let me talk a little bit as to why double body weight back squat and why I mean, I've, I think we know why plant, but I want to at least explain kind of where I'm at, both for my own sake, so I can look back on this video and, and see how I've progressed over the year, um, and, and also potentially help you guys out, because working towards those advanced skills, certainly if you're not set up for it, myself being 6'4", tall, heavy, it needs to be done in a little bit more consideration than, um, than, than other things. So let's talk about planche first. Um, because I want to talk about a little bit how I'm going to approach things because there's some context here and that might be helpful uh, for yourself. So actually, I'll take a little bit of trip back and some excuses here. But in 2021, my goal was punch. Um, unfortunately, I got injured in March. This was built off, uh, so really good progress that I made in 2020. Um, the combination of training the one arm handstand, my shoulders in general were feeling really solid. I'd also worked up to being able to perform five shoulder presses in a row. So my straight arm pressing was good, decent capacity there. And arguably the end of that year, September, October time, my planche was feeling the strongest it's ever felt and, and, and actually almost feeling possible, which I can't lie to you, it had never done being 6'4", 90 kilos, 200 pounds, like, it's always felt a long way off, but there were glimpses and I was excited for 2021. I, I, I had a, a good idea of what I was gonna do. Unfortunately though, I had a subluxation of my left shoulder at the end of 2020, just doing standard stuff. I talked a whole video about that. It healed up relatively quickly. Um, I thought it was certainly more recovered than it was. I didn't really give it the chance. And then when I went into heavy planche training at the beginning of 2021, it didn't take long for that injury to rear its head 
and I had an infraspinatus tear on that left shoulder, which ultimately meant I spent most of last year simply rehabbing that and getting back to the point that I was beforehand. And, and currently speaking, I feel that I'm roughly there. And that for me is kind of the important part because um, I don't feel that I'm quite at the point, certainly at the beginning of this year, where I can go straight into heavy plant training. Like it's just not gonna work out for me. I'm not quite in the position that I feel that my, my foundations are, are ready for it. Uh, so to put that into context, at the end of 2020, I was doing like five freestanding handstand push-ups. I could do five stolder presses. Um, so my, my general capacity to push the strength of the shoulders, the traps was, was higher. Currently I can probably do two or three stolder presses and I can do three, maybe four freestanding handstand push-ups. So that kind of, to put that into perspective, that's kind of where I'm working towards. I'm still going to be focusing a lot on handstand push-up, um, simple straight arm pressing stuff, shoulder pressing, etc. before I really get heavy into the plant stuff. It's very, very important. Vastly underrated is just building a base. Everyone wants to jump into the plant stuff. Nobody wants to do the boring stuff and create that foundation. And, and ultimately, you know, I, as I said, I'm saying this from experience, I've done this. I, I spent just like two to three years of making no progress, doing a lot of training, but making no progress because I didn't take the time to just get those basics a little bit stronger. It's usually not technique. It's usually not the skill itself most of the time. You're just not strong enough. And this kind of brings me nicely onto uh, my next point, which is kind of around setting um, process goals, process goals. So something on the way towards the main thing that you want to achieve. As I said, sometimes where we are now to where we want to be, there's a gap. We need to fill it with something to, to keep ourselves, you know, understanding where we are in that process, but also, as an element of just for mental satisfaction and, and keeping yourself motivated. On this note, um, a few examples of things that might be helpful to you. Remember, this is going to be based on my opinion. My coaching practice doesn't necessarily mean that it's true for everyone, but hopefully it helps you, maybe informs you towards some of your goals. So first, people who want to work on the one arm chin up, uh, we'll say pulling strength in general, but we go one arm chin up first. I think pretty much everyone should work towards 10 to 12 chin ups um as as a, as a base level of conditioning uh for the female population i would say that's probably six to eight ten to twelve for male population that for me means like we've got capacity to do some good stuff then from there uh, i would maybe even take it further and aim for around 30 percent additional weight for myself personally at 90 kilo body weight that would be doing pull-ups with 30 kilos on me and i'd like to see that for about five four to five reps that is a super solid level of pulling strength that I think would serve you well if you wanted to start training one arm chin up or front lever. This 30% for four to five reps also applies to female athletes as well. Pushing strength. Um, I personally would like to see people able to do a solid six to eight reps in a pike push up with the feet at roughly hip height. So an, an L handstand push up is what I would call this. Um, the reason. I like this as a benchmark is because it's somewhat measurable in terms of like how we set things up is consistent among people. Uh, but yeah, six to eight reps of that I think is, is a good level of pushing strength to get to. I think you probably could also add in 10 to 12 dips in there as well to follow the same sort of lines as the chin up. Uh, but yeah, that kind of for me is like, that's again, that's that base level of capacity. Yeah, and then stage two, I'd probably like to see people, as I said, that I'm personally working on five chest to wall handstand push-ups and that for me like that with also the chin work that's kind of my upper body not basics but like we know you're at a good level of strength if you can do both of those things so that is the upper body stuff i think kind of covered as i said if you have any questions uh leave them down below i don't know what i'm going to do about documenting this or sharing kind of what i'm working on this year um body weight bulk that's still going strong that's going to hopefully end around february and then i'll maybe start sharing more about the planche uh, and lower body training uh, i'm going to do a lower body session later on today so i thought i may as well just film that show you kind of what i'm doing and that will probably explain uh, in a much simpler way my thoughts about the goals 2022 it feels like a very daunting goal if i'm honest i feel still very much a noob when it comes to lifting i feel very much like a beginner but nonetheless excited which is always a good feeling for training girls. So as for the leg training, um, today I just kind of wanted to illustrate where things are at 
for the goal, as I said, which is double bodyweight squat for the rest of the year. So I've been back to squatting and, and doing some weighted leg training pretty consistently now for like the past five, maybe six months. Um, started off pretty light and kind of working back into it. And to be honest with you, I'm feeling strong. Uh, and, and as well as that, I've been working uh, the natural hamstring curl as well with the goal of getting a full Nordic. Obviously that's massively down to hamstring strength, but I think it's also supportive of that overall goal of a two times body weight squat. I didn't really list it in my goals for 2022, certainly is a goal at the moment, um, but it's again, similar to that five handstand push up, five shoulder presses, it's, it's, it's a stepping stone towards back squat. Having a natural hamstring curl doesn't mean you can squat two times body weight, but it's certainly gonna assist. At the moment, I've got the full control of the negative all the way down. Uh, I can do partials with, with not much, but certainly, the full range of motion rep doesn't feel possible yet. As for the squat, I actually haven't tested a one rep max of a squat for probably like five or six years now, really since I stopped doing powerlifting and started doing bodyweight training. Uh, I haven't I haven't tried one. I, I'm pretty sure even back then I had about a 200 kg deadlift, but my squat never really surpassed about 120 kilos. So I was like, you know what? If I hit 120 kilos, I'll be happy. Um, up until this point, I've been doing sort of working sets of around 100 to 105 kilos for sets of four or five. That's kind of where my working range has been. So I was just gonna see what happened. Uh, I eventually ended up working up to 125 kilos for a pretty solid single rep. Arguably could have gone to 130, but 125 felt like enough of a grind to establish that base point of strength. So um, in terms of like the stepping stones, as we said with the, with the straddle planche, we've got you know steps along the way that you want to hit. So for me, that Nordic curl is probably the main one. I'm still going to continue to work that even after I've got the Nordic curl. I, I like the movement. Uh, it feels cool. <laughs> and I think it has a lot of benefit for hamstring strength. Um, certainly for me, the next stage will be the three plate squat, 140 kilos. I think that's 315 pounds. Yeah, 315 pounds, three plates, e-boy. That seems to be like a, the next ultimate goal for the one rep. And then from there, I don't necessarily have stepping stones towards that 180. I'm just gonna ultimately like keep working up and building up reps and kind of see where things happen at the end of the year. I think probably if I was to set any goal on my leg training, it was it's just to maintain consistency of doing it throughout the year. Because ultimately, progress comes with consistency. And alongside that, obviously, I want to stay flexible as well. Um, so I still will be working front splits, I'll still be working middle splits and pancake, um, all of that to some degree, although it's just not gonna be a massive focus, so I'm not gonna be dedicating lots and lots of time to it. I'm just gonna keep things ticking over because I'm pretty happy with, with where my splits are at. I have pretty much full front split. Middle split is, is dropping slowly, but again, there's still some restrictions with the injury that I had doing the Van Damme splits at the beginning of the year. But yeah, that's basically my goals for 2022. Um, just two of them, that's it. Full commitment, <laughs> full send, try and actually uh, nail down this planche. I feel like I always say that I'm confident, but I, definitely in my head, much like the one on handstand for a significant portion of the time training that I felt like I was never gonna get it. Certainly with the straddle planche, I felt like I'm never gonna get it. Uh, even that double body weight squat, that feels like, that feels like a lot of weight. 180 kilos that feels a long way off but um yeah excited and you know if you don't set goals that excite you and you feel a little bit scared <laughs> by trying to achieve then um maybe you need to reconsider and uh and and, and give yourself some some more challenging goals but yeah that's basically it. i would love to hear what your goals are I, it's always fun as i said to hear what other people are working on and kind of where the focus is so if you do have some goals list them out let me know your thoughts around what you want to achieve this year, set a direction, get a plan, get working. Uh, of course, as always, if you want help with that, there's my app Tribe, and also the BSF Balance Strength and Flexibility Coaching with myself, Ulrich Early. If you wanna join that, join all the good stuff happening there, links to that down below. Other than that, if you just wanna support the channel, hit that thumbs up button, would highly appreciate it. Right next to it is the subscribe button if you wanna join the Bodyweight Warwick Tribe, don't miss out on any more future videos. Other than that, I hope you have a great year. I look forward to sharing my training and hearing how you get on as well. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Have a strong week and peace.